what should you do before you buy a gun? Do your research. Go to the shooting range. You could even rent their guns. You can go to the shooting range. You can see what kind of guns they got available. Rent a gun, shoot it. If it feel good, it look good. You think that's the gun for you. You could probably even look online and purchase that gun. Or you could purchase it at the range you go to. But do your research. That's important. Do your research on what kind of firearm you want to use, what kind of firearm you need. The most used or the most carried firearm in the United States is the 9mm. It's a good caliber to start off with. It's not much recoil. I would not consider starting off with a 40 SMW or a 45 ACP because they are heavier bullets, thicker, bigger bullets and they travel slower than the 9mm. 9mm is kind of small and it travels very fast. So I would consider any new gun buyer to start off with a 9mm. It's a lot of them that's on the market. A lot of good ones on the market. A lot of cheap ones. A lot of expensive ones. It all depends on what you want to use. That's why I said do your research. Do your homework. See what works for you. Another thing, don't rush it. Do not rush it. Go, take your CPL classes if you want to. Not pushing anymore, take your CPL classes. See what kind of gun works for you. I have bigger hands, so you will think I will carry a bigger gun. I have bigger hands, but I like smaller things with my bigger hands. That's why I carry a nine millimeter. I have a 40 S and W and I have a 45 ACP 1911. Probably should not have said that because I have not shown it. Anyway, I'm going to be doing an updated collection anyway. So I have a 1911 and I have a 40 S and W. It's a uh, police what's the name? Police return gun. So I still carrying. Out of all the guns I got, I still carry my 9mm because it just fits perfectly in my hand and I know I'm most accurate with it. I don't want to carry around a big bulky gun that I know I'm not accurate with because I don't want to get into any kind of confrontation or situation and I've got to be fumbling around with this gun and I don't know what I'm doing. And the gun's going all over here and there. I'm very precise with my 9mm. and. I know I can get myself out of any sticky situation with three bullets or less with my 9mm. That's why I carry my 9mm. I'm very good. I go to the range very often. So you can do a few YouTube searches, a few, a few Google searches to see what kind of gun works for you. You can, it's a lot of different companies. You got Smith & Wesson, Ruger, Glock. That's just the name of you. You can choose from any of those. Those are all good gun companies. They all make good guns. You can even go with a Turkish company like I did when I got this here Zagana. It's fully taken apart, but the Zagana PX9. It's a Turkish company. The gun actually shoots very, very well to be a 9mm. The only thing I don't like about it is it's very heavy. That's why I will not use it every day, like as a everyday carry because of how heavy it is. I don't need an extra 25, 30 pounds tucking on me when I'm walking. I want to be comfortable when I'm walking with my firearm. That's why I carry something just something lighter. And I got a new EDC, which is my Smith, my SD9. I think I, I yeah, I already made a video on it a couple weeks ago. I've just been making so many videos these past couple weeks. I can't even remember. I've just been making a lot of videos. But that's my new EDC, my SD9 VE. So, like I said, just do a few Google searches. Do some YouTube searches. See what works for you. What kind of gun you want. You can go to the shooting range. You can rent their guns. And you can go shoot some of their guns. Maybe you'll go rent uh, Glock 17 and shoot it. You might fall in love with it. You might like it. Then you can look online and you can buy you one. Or you might be able to buy it right there at the place where you shoot. Just do some research on what kind of gun you want to get. And be educated. 
because not everything is as it seems. I made plenty of mistakes. Like when I bought that, what is it, that part is PA. I didn't do any research on it. I just went online, I seen it, it was cheap. I bought it, I got it, doesn't even work. So that's a prime example right there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you next time.